sir. I've been, I've been trading, I've been eating healthy, you know, I haven't ate fast food, junk food, fast food, anything like that. I've been just training for the last three months after the season and I've been just grinding. Did you surprise been here in town? Did you surprise yourself today? Or yes, sir. Uh, you know, whenever I hit that uh, 36 on vertical, that's what I was like, dang, like, I've never jumped that high in my life. So, you know, I feel like I could dunk like Michael Jordan or something. But, uh, and then I hit that 27 on bench, and yeah. I think it was just all God, man. It's just like, he's just blessing me with everything he does, man. I think you were one behind uh, Marcus, right? Marcus got, what, 28 last year? Or? Uh, I have no or, idea. I don't, or is he lying? Yeah. He said he had one Marcus is a big guy, so probably, yeah. 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 He probably got So have like you been that. training here in town, or you have been uh, back home? Uh, I've been just training with, um, really, Coach Philo. With, uh, here in town? Here? Yeah, yeah. With, uh, you know, the GAs, Christian, Alex, all those guys, man. They're always here. You know, I'm still doing grad school, so I'm still in school. You know, I just had a test at uh, 6 p.m. yesterday, so, God. you know, like, I've been, I've been going crazy, but, you know, I've been trying to balance things out trying to get a uh, good work in and I don't think um, you know you can put I feel like the hardest worker always gets the credit you know like uh, you don't have to go to EXOS you don't have to go to any of those places at the end of the day the hardest worker is going to get the credit so you mentioned the bench press and the vertical do you know any of your other marks from today uh, I have no idea uh, I know I ran a 7-2 I believe on the L drill but other than that I haven't heard anything um, but they said that it was a it was a good time though so Hopefully it's something good. So how have you found uh, time to work? I mean, you, you, you go to grad school? Yes, sir. So how many classes do you take? I mean, how do you uh, right now I'm taking five because uh, during the season I only took three. So uh, I'm trying to catch up. I'm uh, on pace to graduate in August, this, this summer. This August? Yes, sir. With my master's in science and business. Okay. So you feel like you're walking out of here today, like you exceeded all expectations? And <laughs> yeah. You really kind of improved your stock? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, you know, I'm underrated. You know, nobody's talking about me, you know. So I only got like one season of film, you know, because I've been injured and stuff like that. So this really, I felt like this really, you know, showcased my talent and, uh, you know, it was good for me. So when you work, uh, when do you work out? How many days of school? You say you go to the right school. Five yes, classes. Do you go to classes every, every day? Uh, I go to class at 10. So on Mondays, I go to class at 10 a.m. And 11 uh, a.m., I get down at 12.45, and I get lunch, work out here at 2.30, and I have class at 6 p.m. till 8.45. That's on Monday only. Yeah, the rest of the week is just 10 a.m. and 11 uh, But you're working out every day? You're working out every day? Yes, sir. I work out uh, Monday through uh, Friday. So, yes. Well, you mentioned your injury. You, you've had several you know, yes, real serious injuries in yes, your sir. career. What does it mean to go through all that and you know, put a performance like today to do it? Man, it's been, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, up and downs, man. Just, uh, you know, I think it's just God just working through me. Like, I just never gave up, you know. I just uh, always thought that I had the talent and the athleticism to, um, you know, be right here right now. But, um, you know, it just, it's just that um, I just have to go through adversity and it just, I just have to overcome it. You got to want it too, right? I guess yes, that's one thing. That's a takeaway on this. If yes, you really sir. want yeah. it, you're going to get I could have easily gave up, man, because, yeah. uh, you know, I was behind. I was actually playing, like, a DN position. Sam linebacker behind Marcus Davenport. And I was behind, like, people like Josiah McHale. So I never really got, like, a shot. And senior year comes, and I finally got my shot. So it was, like, it's, it was only one season, but it was good that I got my – some, some What did you start at? Where, what, your senior year? Where were you playing at? What position? Uh, Will linebacker. Will. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Had you had any contact or any, any kind of thing with the NFL process before today? What was it like for you? Uh, no, sir. I don't have an agent or anything like that. Just, um, you know, you know, I don't have an agent or anything like that, but I just stay positive, you know, uh, just because I don't have an agent or nobody really hitting me up. It doesn't mean that, you know, I can still make it or it doesn't mean that I can't work as hard as I can and test well, you know. So I just wanted to, you know, improve my draft stock by just improving well or performing well. And uh, it just showcasing my talent today. Do you intend to hire an agent, or where do you go from here? Uh, nobody really hit me up, so it's just that uh, I'm just looking for one, really. <laughs> so agents hit me up. <laughs> would you be uh, Would you be open to playing in one of those leagues, like the Alliance or the XFL, when that uh, comes around? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, if NFL doesn't work out, you know, I'd be more than uh, more than welcome to go to CFL, AFF, anything like that. I just want to keep playing ball. All right. Thank you, Les. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.